take. Talking about grudges, and that's not something I'm going to be holding. We are in the second part, and a bit earlier on, we spoke about you know what a grudge is, what is it that you do um, after you've received a grudge, and how you can remuner remunerate your friendship uh, after you've received a grudge. But we're actually into the second part, and I'd like to know about what happens after the grudge. Now, you know, sometimes you know you're a bit angry, and you no longer want to speak to that person, and then you give them a silent treatment. Right. Why do we why do we react with the silent treatment after that? Well, sometimes when there is a grudge and there are lots of feelings and you're very angry, it's quite difficult to confront the person. Mm -hmm. So you rather not, but you want them to have an idea about how you're feeling. So you give them the silent treatment. So you're not saying anything, but you're saying something. Okay, of course, because I mean, eighty percent of the conversation is not even with the mouth. So if you're silent, now I want to know from uh, you guys over here about the silent treatment. I mean, you over there, you said you're already giving your friend uh, the silent treatment, but there's a term that we like to hear, and it is called forgive for your own sake. Why is it for our own sake to forgive? Um. Because I think if we forgive, some of the feelings are resolved. You were not walking around with so much of that anger. Mm. It takes a lot of energy to be angry and upset. Oh, yeah. So mm. sometimes it's easier to say, you know what, it happened, it's okay, I'm over it, and forgive the person for what they've done. It's, okay. it's, it's easier said than done, though. It's much easier said than done. Mm. I mean, who of you actually agree with the doc here it's much easier said than done? Do you have any personal experience to feel this? Yes. Um, I feel that um, if you have a friend and you really care for the person and you are giving that person the silent treatment like of a small thing, um, it might not be good for you because not everyone likes to be um, given the silent treatment so you might lose your friend for that thing whereas as you could have like forgiven the person and just like, got over it, you know. Yeah, exactly. So you don't want to be actually losing friendships over the silent treatments, which is right. something that happens. Right, it does yes. happen. And you can always decide. You can decide, I'm going to work on this or I'm not going to work on this. How important is it um, or not? You've got to decide. You've got to make that decision. Okay, but I feel like a lot of these things usually happen is you start feeling them in school and then so forth to high school. So back then, you know, you're not in the mindset of really knowing is this relationship or friendship worth my time, you know? Uh, but silent treatment isn't the way to go. So isn't there some kind of other way that we can go to uh, maybe discuss this? Well, I think the first thing you have to do is how, how badly am I going to feel about this and mm. can I handle the feelings or not? Mm. And then you can talk to other people, other friends, uh, you can write down your feelings, you can separate it out and then you can decide am I going to talk to this person or not. Okay, so writing down your feelings is like, like on a diary writing down them. Yeah, or a piece of paper or you can voice note it to yourself, whatever you want to do. All right, and that helps. Yeah, because it makes you understand the feelings that you're going through. Okay, cool. So it's all to do with understanding. But Saz, I believe you actually had a question for Utok. Um, um, I'd like to ask maybe like... Um, is silent treatment uh, really effective? Because to me, it doesn't work. Like, the person will keep persisting because they don't really know what what the problem is, so, and you don't really don't want to talk to them. So, is silent treatment really effective? Mm. Okay, nice. well, that's that's a good that's a good question. So, the silent treatment initially might be good for when you can figure out your feelings, and then and then you're right. Uh, the person might not know what they've done. So, if you feel strong enough and calm enough, then you can say to the person, look, I gave you the silent treatment because I was trying to figure out what happened and these were my feelings and now I can tell you what you did that made me upset. All right, cool. At least you have some kind of insult to take back to your friend and yes, question. Yeah, I, um, I completely agree that there, there is actually a time period where silent treatment can be a good thing because mm. it gives you time to go over your emotions to find out what actually is the problem. Mm. And then you can actually respond with having something thought through. You don't just respond with your emotions. You mm. think what you're going to say and then you do the right thing. Here we go. I mean, he's clearly taken the point that, uh, that you put across here. You need to step back and actually look over the situation and understand what you're feeling before you can actually deal with it. But I'd like to say thank you so much for joining us in studio today, Harold, Chrissy, and thank you to you, Doc, for all the advice. And hopefully you guys can go home 
knowing that, you know, you've got a little knowledge over how to deal with a grudge. <laughs> Hectic.